The only real hope and change you'll ever get is from God. It's going to come from the Lord or it's not going to come at all. It's going to come when you admit that you can't do it and that you've got to have His help. Jeremiah 17, 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? This is our verse today. The context of Jeremiah 17, 9 speaks of Judah's sinfulness in spite of all the blessings of God. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The Bible tells us our hearts are deceitful, and not only are they deceitful, they are desperately wicked. You may say to me, I know my heart. Are you sure? Are you absolutely certain you know your heart? The truth is, you don't truly know your heart. Because to know your heart is to say you know how you will react in every single situation. There are some situations that a person can go through, and those situations will lead that person to respond out of character. You don't know your heart. You don't know what your breaking point is. You don't know what can push you to cross the line for you to behave out of character. Life can present situations like this. Situations that push you to your breaking point, to where you do things that you never imagined doing. Do you know there are people in prison right now, this very moment, because they did something that they never thought they would do? Do you know there are people who have ruined their very own lives because they did things they never thought they were even capable of doing? You don't know your heart. You don't know the evil in the human heart. Look at all the murderers in prison. I guarantee you, if you were to see pictures of them as little boys or little girls, you would have never predicted they would be murderers. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. No one knows the evil that the human heart is capable of doing. There are those who attempt to preach the message that human beings are good by nature. No, they're not. We don't know the wickedness that is in people's hearts. How many times have people said, I don't know what made me do that? How many times have we heard people say, I don't know what came out of me? How many times have we heard people say, I don't know why I did that? And the truth is, they don't know why. The heart is deceitful. The human heart is diseased with sin. You don't know your heart. Don't trust your heart. Don't trust your feelings. Trust the Word of God. Trust the Holy Spirit and not yourself. There are even some people who believe they are Christians, but they avoid the Bible. They state they are Christians, but their hearts have deceived them. They believe genuinely in their hearts that they are born again. They believe wholeheartedly that they are saved when they are not. The human heart can make you feel good. The human heart can lie to you and say that you are a good Christian, yet you talk like the world, live like the world, act like the world and love the world. But the human heart can blind you into tricking yourself into self-deception, to think you are saved when you are not saved. That is the wickedness of the human heart. The human heart can make you fall in love with religion, and it can even make you feel good and make you believe a lie. How can I know if my heart is deceiving and making me believe I'm a born-again believer when I actually am not? Read your Bible. You see, your Bible is alive. Hebrews 4, 12. For the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. The Bible is alive. And when you read the Bible, the Bible will speak. It will read your life, and it will tell you whether you are a fake Christian or not. Allow me to be honest. Sometimes when I read the Bible, it provokes me in uncomfortable ways. It shines light into areas of my life and tells me where I am falling short. It provokes me, and that's good. The Word of God is meant to penetrate. This is why this world hates the Bible, because the Bible is the unfiltered truth. The Bible will tell you if you are a real Christian or a fake Christian. The world wants to believe the lie that we human beings are inherently good, but this goes against what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that you and I are sinners. The world and a lot of unbelievers think human beings are inherently good. And the only bad people are in prison cells or those who have committed heinous crimes. The vast majority of people do not see themselves as sinners. They see themselves as good people. And the real sins are committed by people who steal or get arrested. Their human heart has deceived them into believing this. However, the Bible points the finger at every man and woman and says you are guilty, corrupted, and evil. And your only hope is Jesus Christ. For when you open it, it speaks to you. It reads you, and the Holy Spirit urges, and a miracle takes place. So many people, when they read the Bible, feel pain in their heart. 
for they know that what the Bible is saying is true. They are sinners, sinners who have offended a holy God, and their offense deserves to be punished. And in this glorious miracle, they meet the one who laid down his life and lived a perfect and just life for their account. And through him, their debt can be paid. I remember counseling a couple that was on the brink of divorce. The wife had committed adultery with a colleague she worked with. She had been working with this colleague for some time, and during the process of time, because they were working so closely together, they got closer and began to develop feelings for one another. She stated that the affair happened because she followed her heart. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. If this woman had followed a mind renewed by the Word of God, she would not have committed adultery. And as a pastor, you get to see these things. You get to see the deceptive nature of the human heart. I have seen people walk down the aisle with someone they should not be marrying. Their parents tell them not to marry this person. Their friends warn them not to marry this person. But they go ahead and marry this person because they are following their heart. Rather than seeing that this person they are about to commit their future to does not possess the characteristics that will make a great life partner for them, they go ahead and marry them following their heart. I remember watching a courtroom proceeding and a woman was in court to divorce her husband because she was not happy anymore and her heart was not in the marriage anymore. The man had not cheated. By her own admission, the man was a good husband who provided for the family, but there was no longer any spark in the relationship. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. And unfortunately, this is something that has become more and more common. Marriage is about loyalty. Marriage is about faithfulness in the good and bad times. Marriage is about trustworthiness. Marriage is about commitment. Marriage is not just for when you are happy and the sparks are flying. No, marriage is a commitment. You made the decision to marry that man. You made the decision to marry that woman. Honor your commitment. Unfortunately, with the introduction of social media, people compare their marriage to other people's. You don't know what is going on in other people's marriages. Don't compare it to yours. People lie on social media. People pretend that stuff is not real. There are people who are being deceived right now by their very own hearts. They believe they are living in fellowship with God. They believe in their hearts that they are going to heaven, yet they are not born again. There are those who attempt to preach the message that human beings are good by nature. No, they are not. We don't know the wickedness that is in people's hearts. How many times have people said, I don't know what made me do that? How many times have we heard people say, I don't know what came over me? The heart is deceitful. You need a new heart. And the only one who can give you a new heart is God Almighty. He is the only one that can change the human heart. The only hope for the sinful human heart is to be supernaturally changed. You must be born again. One must be born again. The new covenant brings inner transformation. Jeremiah 31, 33. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. John 7, 38. He who believes in me, as the scripture is said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Only God can change your heart. A new heart from God is one that follows his commands, a heart that seeks and thirsts after righteousness. A new heart is a heart that seeks to please God and walk by the Spirit so that we resist the lust of the flesh. Your problem today is not that you are not trying hard enough. Your problem today is that you do not have a new heart. God's new heart will aid you in your walk with Him. You will not be comfortable with sin and all its filth. You will only be comfortable with the things of God. How can I receive a new heart? The answer is simple. Be born again. And once you are born again, you need to begin to read the Word of God to renew your mind. Also in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. It takes the grace of God to change us, folks. How can you be saved if you're not willing to repent? And the Lord Jesus Christ said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish.